Hello everyone, this is TechBizmo and welcome back once again to another video. Um, today I thought I would do a uh, SSD and RAM upgrade tutorial on the Dell Latitude E7470. So as you guys may know, I received this guy for uh, Christmas um, back in December. You know, because Christmas is in December. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um... Yeah, so today I'm going to be upgrading, or well, just showing you guys how to upgrade the RAM as well as the solid state drive in this laptop. Um, we are going to be using the iFixit ProTech Toolkit to perform the upgrade to, uh, on this computer. So, uh, yeah, that's just, uh, I'm not sponsored by iFixit, but uh, they are my favorite uh, little screwdriver company for devices and um, other little things, you know, your little projects that you do. With this very handy toolkit. So this is the iFixit ProTech toolkit once again. Um, and uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, hopefully you guys can see the, uh, the ProTech toolkit right there in the shot. <laughs> um, we're going to be shutting down the latitude like so. Currently this is running Windows 10 Pro. And there we go. We have shut down once the keyboard backlight goes down. <clears throat> we have shut down the Dell Latitude E7470. Um, so something that I like to do on um, all of my something that I like to do on all of my um, computer upgrades or just when I'm modifying a computer in general, when I'm taking apart disassembling computers. I always lay down a microfiber cloth, so I'm going to be go going to retrieve that in just a second because you know I wasn't prepared. I didn't get the microfiber cloth that I so desperately need so that I don't scratch this the uh, surface of this carbon fiber. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, here we are with the microfiber cloth uh, laid down here, and the first thing that I'm going to do is flip over the laptop. Uh, of course, after you've uh, powered it down and everything. Um, so flip over the laptop and uh, you will be greeted with these lovely Phillips head screws right here. Um, how many are there? Uh, nine, no, eight, I apologize. <laughs> uh, once again, I'm going to be using the iFixit ProTech Toolkit for this upgrade. So we'll go ahead and uh, get that handy. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just leave this out. Set the uh, rest of that aside. All right, so here is the iFixit ProTech toolkit that I'm going to be using for this upgrade tutorial. Um, for this tutorial, you will need a Phillips one screwdriver bit, and uh, yeah, in my case, I'm just going to be using the little iFixit screwdriver uh, right here. Little well, iFixit driver, it's very very nice. <clears throat> and uh, we'll go ahead and set that here, so you guys can just get a little look at the. Yeah, I fix it in all its glory. <laughs> um, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this. Um, so once you have your screwdriver bit, go ahead and loosen the bottom cover. By going through and loosening all eight of these access door screws. Alrighty then, um, I have found that it is easiest to pry the back, the uh, access door up from the SD card slot, so uh, you might have some kind of dummy or a blank filled in there. Uh, what you want to do is just uh, release it and then get your fingers under there and loosen the access door, start from the back, and then work your way to the front. And then you should be able to just lift off the bottom access door. Set that uh, right there for now. And here we have the interior of the Dell Latitude E7470. You guys can see there. They uh, Dell did a very nice job on the interior um, of this machine. I do love this, this design. It's beautiful. Um, in my opinion, it actually looks better than um, the interior of some MacBooks. And now I'm going to, I know a lot of you out there will disagree. And no, I'm not just being biased. I honestly think this just looks cooler 
than the uh, completely blacked out everything in the MacBook um, motherboards, in the MacBook interiors. Alrighty, anyways, uh, here we have your two DIMM slots, so let me have a look here. I believe this is DIMM A and this is DIMM B. Anyways, uh, that's not really important here. Uh, here we have our solid state drive, and I will be showing you guys how to upgrade that in just a second here, so just uh, hold on there for a second. To upgrade the RAM, what you want to do is you want to sli uh, slide over these two uh, RAM clips right here. Just slide them over, and then just pull the RAM straight out. And there we have our, uh, this is a 8 gigabyte um, DDR4 RAM module, so yes, this uh, latitude, well actually every latitude is 7470 runs off of DDR4. Um, so here we have one of our DIMMs, let's uh, just take the other one out too. Again you want to slide the two clips away from each other and then back the RAM straight out. And there we have the second DIMM, this is also 8 gigs so I have a total of 16 gigabytes in my E7470. Uh, which is enough for me in my business machine. I have a workstation down here uh, under this desk. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's go ahead and fast forward to the installation process for your RAM. What you want to do is you want to just insert your RAM at an angle into the DIMM slot nice and easily and then push it straight down until you hear the, uh, the, the, uh, click, the clips click. <laughs> All right, now on to our second DIM. So let me actually have a look here. So this is DIM B and this is DIM A. That's not really important. You guys don't need to necessarily, you guys don't necessarily need to know that. However, you know, you learn things, you, you learn something new every day, don't you? Um, go ahead and insert the second DIM at an angle and then push it straight down until you hear that click. And there we go, we have 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM inserted into my Dell Latitude E7470. So that's uh, that's very, very nice. That's all I need for my business machine. This machine actually can be upgraded to 32 gigabytes of RAM, which I think is pretty nice. But um, since this is a bit of an outdated processor, this is an i5-6300 uCPU. Um, the CPU would really be bottlenecking the RAM performance a little bit because I believe this can only go to 2133 megahertz on each DIMM. Alrighty, here we have the solid state drive. Let's go ahead and loosen the solid state drive screw. Again, you should be able to just use your Phillips 1 screw, uh, your Phillips 1 driver, and go ahead and carefully back that screwdriver, that, carefully back that screw out, like so. <laughs> and iFixit gives us a lovely little screw organizing tray so we'll just set it in there for now it's not necessary uh, at the moment however I just want to show off my lovely iFixit ProTech toolkit that's just how I am um, go ahead and lift up the solid state drive if it hasn't already lifted itself up usually it'll lift itself up like so um, however if you guys first saw it was held down by some adhesive or something or just uh, a little bit of force here so typically it'll pop up like that and then you will just back it out very slightly very easily I apologize and here we have my 128 gigabyte m.2 SATA SSD uh, let's go ahead and reinsert the solid state drive into the m.2 slot so just carefully insert that in an angle and then push it straight down and then grab your screw if you have a magnet, magnetic screwdriver like me, it'll make your life a lot easier. And carefully, do not over tighten, um, carefully just insert that screw just enough to hold it down and just enough so that it's not bouncing up and down while the machine is, I don't know, in transport or something. Um, something to note is actually that the, all these screws on the access door are captive screws, so you can see none of the screws fall out. They are captive screws. Uh, which I think is a very nice design. I personally prefer them to be captive screws, um, you know, on a laptop that I open pretty often. Um, you know, it just makes your life a little bit easier since the screws aren't going all over the place. Anyways, guys, there is uh, how to upgrade the solid state drive and your RAM in the Dell Latitude E7470. Um, so the, so the uh, upgrading part of this tutorial is complete. So. Uh, 
Sorry for that. Um, you might want to just stick the bottom access door back on and you know fire up the machine, make sure everything works. Um, in my case, I'm just going to do like I said, I'm going to put the access panel back on. Now, when you're putting the access panel back on, you do the complete opposite, so you kind of work your way up to the back, like so. If I can get that properly, there we go. Almost. It's a little bit tricky, I apologize for this. It's a little bit tricky to get this access panel back on. I apologize for my uh, my skills at the moment. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. The access panel is back on the machine, so that's very nice. Just go ahead and reinsert all your screws back into the laptop. Might hear some clicks <laughs> along the way. Everything clicking into place, which is very, very nice. I like that satisfying noise. Because <laughs> I'm weird like that. Alrighty guys, and uh, that is pretty much it. As you guys can tell, that is a very, very simple upgrade process. That is something that I just really love about these Latitude machines is they are very, um, very easy to upgrade, very modular. Um, so yeah guys, that is, uh, that's pretty much it. That uh, It has come towards the end of this video now. Um, I will leave a link in the description to purchase a iFixit ProTech toolkit for yourself because I highly recommend you get one of one of these for uh, one of these types of upgrades. Uh, but yeah, anyways, as I said, I will. <laughs> I will leave a link in the description. Yeah, as I said, guys, it has come towards the end of this video now. We'll go ahead and fire up the latitude and just make sure everything works. We'll boot up to BIOS. Give everything a little looky. And there we have 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM running at 2133 megahertz per DIM. Yeah, 8 gigabytes, eight gigabytes per, per DIM. And then we have our M.2 SATA SSD, which is which contains 128 gigabytes. Uh, well, anyways, guys, again, it has come towards the end of this video now. Uh, thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. Um, Please don't hesitate to comment, like, and subscribe because that would help me out a lot and it would encourage me to uh, keep on making these tutorials, which I do enjoy doing um, because this is one of my favorite things to do, just you know, do little experiments or upgrades or any sort of things with technology or with, with computers, with laptops, mainly with laptops because, you know, these, um, these devices are really, really cool to me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it is the end of this video now. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed.